Yo, what's up gang? It's your boy King Koopa one back at it again with another video. This video is going to be a special video because today is the Switch's third birthday. It's been three years since the Switch has been released, March 3rd. And this video I'm going to be showing every physical title that I've ever bought from day one. I am a day one owner of the Switch. I remember standing in line with a bunch of cool people and everybody was super excited to get the Switch. And yeah, I'm gonna be showing everything that I've ever, not ever bought, but every physical title that I've ever bought. I don't, know, I don't really have that many um, digital downloads. So I think I only got like maybe one or two. And I think they were like free or something because of pre-orders or something like that. But um, um, the Nintendo Switch officially kicked off the ninth generation of the gaming world. As we know, the Wii U was not technically a success and Nintendo decided, you know what I'm saying, to move on to better things. And that's when we got the Switch. But um, I counted up my, 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 uh, my Switch games. I got them down off my dresser or my little shelf or whatever. And surprise to myself, there's over 100 physical games. And that's not even including the pre-orders and stuff that I got at GameStop or games that haven't been technically shipped yet from like limited print companies. So yeah, so I probably low key have like maybe, I don't know, like 100 and I don't know, it's over 100. So, oh, but um, this pal of Switch games I have in front of me are special because I got them from a liquidation sale. As we all know, um, if you've been paying attention to the gaming world, especially if you watch Spawn Waves uh, channel, which is how I found out about the liquidation sales. Um, all these games are in front of me are from me hitting up GameStops that are going out of business. And so far I've only hit, hit up two. And I found I found out about three or four, but some of them are, you know, kind of far from me. But uh, I do plan on going back. I do know the closing dates of those GameStops. It's about it's about nine o'clock Chicago time. So hopefully, you know what I'm saying, this video will actually be uploaded before midnight. This is gonna be a long video. I don't really plan on doing too much talking. I'm just gonna basically, you know, show each title, open it up to show you the inside cover art, manuals or whatever, if any of them has that. And um, yeah, man, let's just get right into it because I've already restarted this video too many times to count. And um, yeah. So let's move these to the side right quick. I picked this game up because I've seen a lot of YouTubers, you know, saying good things about it. It's a good multiplayer game. And um, here is the inside. I picked this game up because I have the, I guess the prequel to this game. This is the sequel to a game that I already own called, and that game is called uh, Slain Black Back From Hell. And it's from a limited print company. And their sequel, I guess, got a physical, uh, actual like, you know, physical in the stores or what have you. And it actually has inside cover art. And the two born ones, that I wasn't able to get, you know, actual cases for. This game is called uh, Latan's Mystery Journey. And it's kind of like an anime story style type game. I thought it was interesting. Picked it up. This is Let's Go um, Pokemon Eevee. And I do have the Pikachu one. I will not be opening this game up because it has the inside uh, you know the download code for the first game i'm not really sure if the person the previous owner you know what i'm saying used it this is a youth game some of these games are used and a lot of them are, are considered to still be new even though gamestop had them open that's another issue i don't really like when it comes to buying shit from gamestop but um yeah so i don't know man i really don't want to do too much talking i just kind of want to you know, get this video out. You know what I'm saying? Show my little collection. Xenoblades. Haven't played this. 
I was wrong. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh, you know what? I don't have that one. So if you use it, oh fucking well. Jesus Christ. Maybe I should look at these off camera before I freaking open them because I'm tired of resetting this video. Okay, this one doesn't have any freaking code sitting in the front. Octopath Traveler, everybody went nuts when this came out. You know what I'm saying? Especially for the collector's edition. Unfortunately, I wasn't able to grab it. I thought it was a little bit too expensive for my blood at the time. Only if I knew. And this one has uh, cover art, inside cover art. I really don't know too much about this game. It's a fighter, anime style fighter, you know what I'm saying? I heard it was good. Heard good things about this game. Mm. It came with a, came with a, you know, quite a few goodies, manual, soundtrack download, stuff like that. I'm surprised GameStop like kept all this stuff. like. You know what I'm saying? I guess that's why it's considered like new, even though, like I said, it was open and shit like that. Like, I don't understand like why they would like freaking open a new game and they sell it to you as a new game, but they the ones who opened it. Like that kind of defeats the purpose. This one has a reversible cover art. I won't with this one because you know, it looks better in my opinion. Heard a lot of good things about this game. Naked. All right, let's get another pal. Decent inside cover up. Like that might be one of my favorites and I don't know why this oh, is like the menu is too too big apparently I said, why the hell is this and as you can see this is uh, a limited print game from um, strictly yeah strictly limited decent Inside cover art. Limited print game, but not really because you know they got a whole deal with Best Buy. They got a whole booth that you can literally go to any damn it, any convention and they're there. And anyway, another limited print game. Well, maybe not. Maybe not. Very dope game, very dope game. This game comes packed with quite a lot of stuff. You know what I'm saying? This is definitely worth the money. It has inside cover art. Got this solely on nostalgia because me and all my cousins have Super Nintendos. And my cousin Michelle actually owned, I think, uh, I know she owned Lion King, but I want to say she owned both of those games. They were fucking hard. Luigi's Mansion, another beautiful game. Decent inside cover art. And like I said before, I mean, well, not, not like I said before, I don't know if I'm talking about tweaking. Let me just be quiet. Just trying to get through this video. It's already at the 10 minute mark. Shout out to you if you made it this far. Oh, oh, whoa. Well, I guess you know. Let's see the, the art. And yeah, it was some type of like special promotion with this game. Like it was brand new sealed and it was only $10, so. 
that's why I picked it up. And plus, I heard good things about it. It's like very similar to uh, Donkey Kong. And as we know, that was a, a choice game that got ported over. And freaking Celeste, bro. A game that I've been like waiting on for a long time. Check out that. Bro, I just love these Switch games with the with the uh, foil finish. Freaking dope. Hard. Hard. All right, that's it for that pal. Let's get another pal. Okay, let's not drop anything. Yeah. Minecraft. Everybody freaking loves Minecraft. I remember this when this hit the 360. All my friends was was playing. And um, yeah, it's, it's a very re relaxing game. I, I I dig relaxing games. Zelda, good game, good graphics, decent inside cover. I really wanted the Steel Book Edition for this game, but I just couldn't snag it. I think I was broke at the time too. So the Messenger, another good game, another good game. Another limited print uh, game from Special Reserve. Downhill. Another really good game. Decent game. Another uh, limited print. Decent. Decent. It come with goodies and good game. A Hat in Time. Heard a lot about this game. I think this is, uh, yeah, this is, uh, I made it like that on purpose. I remember now. So it comes with some, um, some DLC included. Another limited print game from Limited Run. Very similar to uh, Sonic the Hedgehog, Freedom Planet. Good game. Yoshi's Crafted World, good game, kind of easy, not super hard, but you know, it's a Yoshi game, you know what, what, what can you say, still not Yoshi Story for the 64, that's probably like my favorite one, and another uh, limited uh, release game, this is a beat em up, I'm definitely a fan of beat em ups, I was trying to fix that Scott Pilgrim vs. The World itch, and this one is a anime, you know, one of those lewd type games with some, you know, fan service thrown in. I think, I think this game got uh, kind of, you know, like kind of heavy fan service, if I'm not mistaken. Another good game. I actually got around to playing this one. Didn't beat it yet, but it's a good game. And reversible cover art well not reversible but you know inside cover art and another oh yeah so this one is a limited print game as well I guess you know if y'all collect for the switch y'all know y'all know what's going on you know what I'm saying y'all can see the limited run uh, logo and shit in the corner of the game another decent game I have the other version. I think this is the one that's like um, like 8-bit or 16-bit. And I got the other one. All right. I'm trying not to have all this shit fall on the floor. So let's get another pal. Oh, man. And it just happened. Just drop some shit. So just hold on. I'm getting it together. I am getting it together. Okay. River City Girls. Beat them up. Freaking love 
this packaging. Love it, Joe. Love it. Good game. Nightmare Boy. Shantae, day one, have Genie. Have Genie, day one edition. You know what it is called. Whoops. Put that back. Yes, okay. Ultimate edition. Have Hero Genie, day one edition. So, and this one, this game, they actually have a lot of free DLC. And I have another Shantae game somewhere. Another game that took freaking forever to freaking ship. People on eBay are scalping the shit out this game. Hopefully, you know, the prices have went down. But another uh, fighter. Mario Kart 8. Come on, man. It's Mario Kart. I don't know why I have Sonic Mania in here. But apparently, I put it in there. Trying to get all gold in my Sonic Mania. I mean, not Sonic Mania. Freak. Mario Kart. Uh, Super Mario Maker 2. I actually waited purposely to play this game until I got me the Super Nintendo controller to play it. And the internet needs some work. The internet stuff need work, but it's a decent game. I like it. Furran, he's the newest, one of the new kids on the block. Mega Man, not the new kid on the block. And for some reason, oh yeah, I put all my receipts in this, in this case. And for some reason, um, this game price is kind of like all over the place. Like it's above retail, is 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 at retail and above retail for some reason. I don't know why, but just check it out on eBay. Sonic Mania Plus, good ass game. Hope they do a sequel. Reversible cover. Slapping Beans, another new kid on the block. Collector's Edition. No, 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 I didn't get the Collector's Edition. I'm tweaking. Reversible cover. A very high priced game that was given to me by Destiny FOMO. Shout out to her. Beautiful game. And the Steel Bookcase. For um, Super Smash Brothers Ultimate, decent inside, and for some reason I have a Golf Stories card in here, and a couple of limited run tickets. I don't know why. All right, let's attempt to get another pal. Oh, okay, that one went easy. Ghostbusters, good game. I haven't beaten it yet, but I like it. Definitely should pick it up. If you're a Ghostbuster fan. And, um, geez, I don't know why that was stuck. But this is another um, limited print game. Oh yeah, Fox and Forces was another limited print game. It's very expensive and rare for some reason. Came with a lot of goodies. And this is also from another limited print company, as you can see. Here is another limited print game. Uh-oh. Uh, 2D beam up. Um this is from Super Rare, another limited print game. I kinda, I don't know, I'm, I'll do it for this one, but I might not, um, you know, pull them out for, uh, you know, i keep my stickers. I might not pull them all out because, yeah. See what I'm saying? Now I got to fumble with that, so I'm gonna put this to the side. So I'm, you know, not fuck it up. Okay, let's talk about Harry Potter. All right, the reason why, I know I said I wasn't gonna do too much talking, but yeah, the reason why I have two cases for this is because Amazon 
for some reason. Oh yeah, Amazon, I paid for it. It was brand new and they had a special sale on it or whatever. And um, the game was sealed and it didn't have a fucking game in it. So I called Amazon and they were super cool and they replaced it with another game and told me that I didn't have to return the case or anything like that. Spyro, me and my cousin Ebony had a lot of good times with Spyro. She had PlayStation, I didn't. Well, yeah, I did, but she had it first. So I got my PS1 later in life. My Hero Academia, I just went to go see uh, Hero Rising at the movie theater. It's a good movie. You know what I'm saying, Naked. This game has got, got a sequel coming out, I think, in a couple of days. Undertale, another good game. I'm saying fan favorite to a lot of people. I have the collector's edition for that as well. Beautiful. Uh, uh, Reverie, sweet, sweet as edition. I have the collector's edition for this as well. And this is also another uh, limited print game from East Asia Show. And it's apparently their number four release. And yeah. It's very similar to, uh, I want to say like Zelda, but with a uh, Mother 3 graphics or like, you know, Mother graphics, Earthbound graphics. All right, we getting down. I got four more pals to go through. Four more pals, including this one. So yeah, I want to get the, the updated version of this game. I'm gonna stop talking because this video is 20 minutes. I'm saying very good game. Pick it up. I really love Julie's theme. This game also had a collector's edition, but I didn't know it at the time. Moonlighter, another good game. I got this one. I got the collector's edition for this one, and I think I got it from uh, what was it? Special Reserve? No, no. I can't remember the name, but it's not Special Reserve. I know that. It's another one. And another limited print game. Good game. I kind of call it. Well, I don't know why everything is like falling out. Coma. The Coma. Recut. Horror game. Heard it was, you know, it's pretty decent. It started off, you know, kind of buggy, but I heard they updated everything and it runs much smoother now. Friday the 13th. Good game, good party game. Comes with a map. The Slasher Edition comes with a map. And uh, the Flame and the Flood, love this game. I love this game. Haven't beaten it yet, but I, I actually like this game a lot. Little Nightmares Complete Edition. Went through hell trying to get this game, but I got it directly from Bandai themselves, their website. Uh, this game is currently getting a sequel and I do plan on picking it up if it comes out on the Switch. Very good game. Like this game was good. I played it for the first time with the game um, on PS4, Crash. Come on, man, it's Crash, bro. Make it. Freaking DBZ fighters, come on, bro. Goku, Goku in the game. Naked. Toki. You know what I'm saying? I don't know why my stuff is like wavy, like he got wet or something. Oh, you know what? Some of this stuff did get wet, not, not I remember. Cause uh, when I was standing at my mom's house, it had like a slight leak and I didn't know nothing about it. And my games was like getting wet and then drying. So some of them are slightly water damaged. Uh, Blade Stranger, Strangers, uh, Nicolic, Nicolas, Nicola class or Nicolas. They always include good goodies in their games. They put out decent, really good games. And that's a fighter. Bendy and the Ink Machine. I remember when this came out, it was a GameStop exclusive and 
come to find out it wasn't and people had you know went crazy and this game was super fucking expensive for a minute and belt action beat em up collection you know what i mean i have the japanese version or yeah the japanese version because you know i want it a physical not the digital and that's it for that pal three more pals this is how long 25 minutes bro that's fucking crazy that's crazy getting it together getting it together hold on just give me a second Starting to run out of room. Starting to run out of room. Let me move some of this stuff out the way. Let me slide the camera down. And this game here. Another limited print game. I got the collection edition from that. This is from the same company that put out Owl Boy, which is another one of my favorite games. Okay, <laughs> the actual game is in here. Make it. I don't know why they just didn't come out with a damn steel book. Like, they put out a damn 10. But I guess they want to be different. Another new kid to the block. Just got this in not too long ago. Another limited print game. Ultra Core. A game that actually was made for the Sega Genesis. That didn't get released, but then they found it. And then, you know, it was complete and they released it. Peach Ball, another anime fan service type game. Comes with some goodies. It's a pinball game. Gal Gun, another fan service anime type game. And I don't know why this cover art is in here. It, I never understood that. Was that a misprint? Was it a mistake? Somebody tell me in the comments. Another limited print game, Old Man's Journey. Very beautiful game. It's kind of it's a story driven type game, you know what I mean? And I never understood this either. This was some type of extra. And it came with the game, and I really don't know why. Reversible cover art. Here is the collector's edition, or I think it was a collect. No, not the collector's edition. This is just the steel, steel case or steel book. And I don't know where the game is for this. So I'm very alarmed. And now I'm worried. Mega Man uh, game, Mega Man X collection edition. Or yeah, Mega Man X collection. I don't know why this shit is upside down. No inside cover art. Of course, it comes with a download, but apparently, Com I mean, Capcom. Listen, another good game, Adventure Pals, from my favorite people at Super Run. Shipping with them is super fast. Like, they announced the game, they have it up for pre order for a week, and then, like, it's fucking shipped, and it gets to you fast. Another anime fan service type game. This is a collector's edition. This collector's edition. Is wow, like if you haven't seen the video from my collector dudes for this, check it out. It's fucking dope. Came with some goodies. Hold on. I'm having technical problems right now. Hmm. I don't know what is happening right now. And it apparently is uh, number eight from Play Asia. Okay. Stardew Valley Physical Edition. Like I said, you can see the, the water damage from the leaky pipe. But um, Stardew Valley, Japanese collector's edition. Came with some goodies, good stuff, soundtrack and everything. And for some reason, this game is also getting up there in price. Last time I checked, I guess 
you know. Cave Story, another good game. Pick it the fuck up. Good game, good music. Love this game. Another Nikon uh, you know, physical. Comes with goodies, manual, keychain, stickers, and all that. Pick it up. Another visual, visual, like story driven type game. You know what I'm saying? I picked it up. It's, I think it's three games in once. This game actually started as a. What is this? Okay, this is a soundtrack. I say, like, bro, I almost shitted myself, bro. But, uh. Started as a cell phone game, but Dust. Another good game. I played this game with my 360 for the first time. I got the uh, the, the demo, played the demo over and over and over again. Reversible cover art, it's a good game, pick it up. This technically isn't a game, but I saw it, it got a Kickstarter. I did not back it, but it, you know, it got a physical release. And this comes with, you know, this is a Bluetooth thing, so like, I have a GBL speaker or whatever, you know what I'm saying? So I look this up and the sound comes through. It can connect to two two different speakers or two different sets of headphones, two different Bluetooth devices, you know what I'm saying? It comes with a kickstand, a dongle. It comes, just check out a video, a review of this from somebody or, you know what I'm saying? I think it was worth it and it didn't cost a gang of money and that's why I picked it up. And that kickstand is like made out of steel. It's good. Check it out. And it comes in a freaking switch case, like, dope. All right. Down to the last two pals. After this pal, that's it. A steel book for Pokemon. Let's go Pikachu and Eevee. Fucking dope, I love the inside brass and like you know yellow for Pikachu this is uh this is like the first game I actually bought for my switch so shoot them up it's kind of hard didn't beat it I like it here is another steel book for a collector's edition I got kingdom kingdom new lands kind of plain with steel book but the outside is you know gorgeous Another gorgeous game with dope pixel art. Probably low key one of my favorite games for my Switch, which is Outboy. Beautiful game, freaking love it. I got the collection edition for this. And it comes in a big, humongous ass box. Um, Super Mario.